we're off. We've left La Marina Resort and that was in Alicante but further down and we're off to the next area called Villa Royosa, um, further up in Alicante area but more closer to Benidorm. But we need to stop at a supermarket run out a little bit of stuff. So um, although there was a little supermarket on the actual site, um, we want to do a bit more of a main shop. Um, so we're going to pass hopefully three Aldis on the way or a Lidl's, which we'll do. Um, and we'll try to stop off and get some bits and then we will show you around our next campsite when we get there. Because we're there for a while, so we're going to go and discover the area. Range driving. And Toby's there. He's having a bit of a moan today because um, he's been running around for a whole day yesterday and I don't think he wants to be strapped in his seat today so hopefully we can take him for a walk soon. Here, oh, Imperium Camping Alicante. So we just drove an hour, so from South Alicante to I'd say Mid Alicante, just south of Benidorm. Benidorm's just up the road. Looks a nice site actually. Lovely palm trees. Looks nice and clean and tidy. We did speak with a guy on the other site, and he said this is a really really nice area and this is a nice site. Um, got Toby itching, our fur babies itching to get out of the van. So Angela's in reception at the minute. And because he's got attachment issues, if me or Angela leave the van, he wonders what's going on. What are you doing? So we thought we'd film a typical lunchtime for us and bring you along and so I was doing bagels with cream cheese and avocado and in the avocado I normally squish lemon and a pinch of chilli and then we have tomato and rocket. So I'm just simply showing you what we might have for a typical lunch and how we go about doing everything. we needed it. There's a bit more boiling water in there. Yeah. What you're after? Get more water. More water. Yeah, because I know them cups take a little bit more than what them flasks so. That's why them little ones when we're 
out, out hiking. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I think the openness of this one. Do you? Palm trees there, right? I didn't mind the other one, the other one was quite nice. Yeah. It was quite. I suppose because this is all on the same level because it was sloped. Yeah. I did say to you it's going to be a very different campsite this one to the other one. Yeah, I don't mind this one. Look. Yeah, that's We have the scooters out again. Yeah. So we're off trying to find to head towards the sea, beach, restaurant, bar, and also a hardware store and a pet shop, which we've been told around here. So we're on a bit of a hunt at the moment. So the best way to do it is our scooters because we can't bother to walk because <laughs> it's a lot of walking around and it gets a bit confusing. <laughs> so we're going to go down this bike path here and hopefully find what we want. So we just had a brilliant lunch in a little cafe. Do you remember the name? Again with P? No. <laughs> I can't remember. I think it was we a food was so good, we might actually end up going back there again. So we get the name. Really um, nice. We're down at the harbour. There's a Christmas party going on over there. <laughs> you can hear all the celebrations. So we're on our way back on the scooters and we just stopped at the harbour. So I thought I'd film it. And there's Toby. Hello, baby. Goes in the backpack. Backpack when we're on the scooters. Hello. Hello. Oh, Merry Christmas. Gracias. Gracias. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Hola. 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 Give me Willie, Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look, we've got a bit of cover, love. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, These lovely people going out giving out cover for Christmas. 
So this morning after breakfast we have decided to get the train or tram to Benidorm. It's four stops so we thought we'd try it out. It was approximately a 15 minute walk from our campsite to the train line. So this morning we're taking the tram to Benidorm. It's four stops from where we're staying at Villa Riosa. I'll show you the map. You can only take dogs on there if they're small and they go in a bag. So, this is what Toby's travelling in. We headed down the hill to the main area of Benidorm. The train station is probably about 15 minutes walk to the main area. As we walk through the streets of Benidorm, we come across this, we thought it was like a little museum. But once inside, it was all dedicated to the old towns of Spain and the nativity scenes. It was really lovely to see it and you could actually buy all the figures and models as well to create it at home. And lots of Spanish people were interested in this.
So we're wandering around Benidorm looking for somewhere to eat. Um, there's loads of places to eat, but obviously we want to be able to sit outside with the dog. But it just goes on and on. It's huge here. Captain's Candy Shop. <laughs> Look at that! Anyone that knows us knows we had Sweetheart's English Candy Shop in Australia. What did you think of the dinner? Very good in there, very nice tapas. Good food. In if you want tapas or ribs or anything like that, it's down Old Town. Really nice food. So we're on our way back on the tram to go home to Villa Rosa. Mm. Home from Benny Dawn now. We got the tram back and it took 10 minutes um, from the stop at Benny Dawn, four stops to Casta Pastor. Is that where we are? Casta Pastor. <laughs> um, what did you think of Benny Dawn? Awesome, really good. Nice and busy, <laughs> nice and vibrant. Wasn't really that tacky like people say, to be honest. No. Yeah, really enjoyable. Had a fantastic day. So when we got off the tram at Benny Dom, <clears throat> we ended up walking about 20 minutes, but we wanted to find the old town because we've recommended to go and look at the old town. So we went through the old town and it was just really lovely. And then we went down to the seafront and sat and enjoyed the sunshine for about an hour and a half, roughly, do you think? about an hour and a half, had a couple of drinks and then walked back through the old town and had some food. We had tapas, um, really nice wasn't it in the old town? Beautiful. Yeah, really really nice. Um, the tapas wasn't too expensive and we found Benny Dawn quite reasonable actually. Um, we got the wrong end of the stick of Benny Dawn. People were saying oh don't go there, don't go there but to be honest, we are so glad we did. It is such a nice place. Yeah, we were actually surprisingly shocked. You know, you take what you can from it. It's okay in Benidorm, isn't it? Yeah, really nice. Yeah, we, yeah. we really enjoyed it. We had some nice food there. Um, one of the best cocktails we've had for an 
long time. Um, it wasn't watered down or tacky or horrible. It was just it was just really nice. Um, so honestly, go and view Benny Dawn for yourself and make your own judgment and your own mind up on it. Um, it's quite reasonable in Benny Dawn. It's not overpriced. We didn't think it was. Um, and then we got the tram back. It's so easy to do from where we're staying. And we got the tram back. It's like a 10 minute walk back up the hill um, to our campsite. We need to do a campsite tour, which we will um, actually put on this uh, vlog. And yeah, we do a campsite tour. And Wayne pointed out at the beginning that it's also a member of the caravan and motorhome club this site and camping and caravan club we didn't actually book through them because they said they were fully booked i actually rung the site direct and they managed to squeeze us on it gets very busy at christmas because people stay here for months um but well worth a visit isn't it well worth a visit lovely site isn't it yeah so we're going to end today's vlog here and uh, yeah, see you all tomorrow for the preparation of the Christmas celebrations. Night.